Hello everyone, I'm Timoteo. And I'm George. And this is Vintage Doll Hunters. On this channel, we are discussing what we found on our latest vintage doll hunt. We will review um, our huntings and, uh, and our finds and give you our opinions. We provide you, the audience, quality information based on our seven years of collecting experience, either from our personal collection or from the homes of others. We have a passion for collecting and learning about vintage dolls. So join us as we reveal what we found today. Let's get started. Okay, today is the ideal doll from Chrissy. Um, sorry, it is an ideal corpse toy doll, and her name is Chrissy. And she, uh, she came out in 1969. Uh, she's 17 and a half inches tall. The whole thing with this doll is that she had this hair piece that was isolated on top of her that can be wound back, back up into her body and pulled out. And this pattern was from uh, Ideal Toy back in 1971. There was three inventors that actually created this this doll, this mechanism that they created. So this first doll we're showing you uh, isn't the original Chrissy. The original Chrissy actually had hair that went down to the floor. But Correct. this is actually the first dress that came out. There was uh, Chrissy, uh, which is the white version, but then there was also... Uh, Negro um, Chrissy, Chrissy yeah, they called, that's what they her. called her. Um, back in those days, that was kind of you know the words they used, but now we don't use that. But that's um, that was the two versions that they had. Um, and the uh, next thing with these uh, dolls, they had outfits that came along the same time of the year. There was probably about six outfits that were original, besides the one that came with the with the doll, which was this orange. A doll that we were talking about which was the original one but there were six more outfits that came you can interchange uh, with them as well and they also had you know Chrissy carrying case boxes where you can carry your doll in clothing we actually have one of those right here um, these were what they kind of looked like they had a little open up compartments that you want to click here at the bottom and oh look there goes her friend Carrie her little friend Carrie, she's the other uh, one that came out in 1971. So she was her little friend. You just tucked her away, you could put her clothes inside there, tuck that all, and she's good to go. And that was a nice little uh, accessory that they had created for the Chrissy dolls. And then the next part I want to talk about is Velvet. Velvet was uh, Chrissy's cousin. So that's this little blonde gal up here. And then here's the other one right here. Uh, these are um, one is Tim's and the other one is mine. So basically, she's the same thing. She's not as tall, so she's 15 inches tall. And her thing is also the you know the isolated piece that pulls up, and you can draw it back with the with the wind up um, mechanism on her back. Um, there was also a talking version of these dolls. It wasn't just the doll by itself with the hair. So I think we should get onto that part next. Yeah, it's because you know these also came out in 1970, uh, and they managed to last only till 1974. Unfortunately, these dolls kind of went away after that. And um, they were 15 and a half inches for uh, the velvets, and then these girls were 17 and a half inches tall. Are you, you have... Oh, this is an exciting one. Okay, so in 1969, we had the beautiful Chrissy that we had showed you, um, and the next version was the Movin' Groovin'. So this also is a doll that has more of a waist that you could see that kind of moved around so this was kind of another step that they decided to add to the doll to make her a little more fun and you know at those times it was the 70s so they really wanted to groove and move and then they added the talking Chrissy um, the talking Chrissy came out in 1973 and she does talk she has 12 sentences that she says um, it is a little creepy but it's still you know intact mm -hmm. Um, and the dress. No, yeah. can you pull the string? Oh yeah, go ahead, George. Yeah, it's on the side. It. I don't want so to be blamed for breaking it. his doll. So, so let's go ahead and it. let you hear what she has to say. What did she say? I think she said it burns, but I don't <laughs> think that's what it's really said. But yeah, it's 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 the talking Chrissy, um, and she was a nice little thing to have in that in that era. And then they also had a Spanish-speaking one. So I just, I'm just curious on what she had to say in Spanish. I'm sure it's the same thing in English, but you know that would be kind of neat to find that doll. Yeah. And then there was uh, the Look Around doll. We don't have that doll. Uh, I think fortunately for us, because I think we probably get a little scared of the doll's eyes moving back and forth. But it was the uh, Look Around, and they also had her in uh, the black and the white version, Chrissy. Um, and then the other one was the swirl curl, you know, uh, doll with all the big curls. They used to add that with Chrissy's. Uh, and then the last one um, was the twirl beads. Ooh. The twirl beads was the last 
uh, Christy doll that they actually came out with before they uh, kind of went away. And what you could do with this, you put a little clip into her head and then they had two little white and then a pink uh, little beads that bend and you can move her hair, make different uh, little uh, hairstyles. Let me show you a quick uh, version of the box. This is the box that, you know, she, she came, came in. in. So she would show you like all her little hairstyles that you could do with these beads. Um, and that was it. She was gone after that. Well, the whole thing with these dolls too is, you know, um, these dolls were a first of its kind because they had this whole isolation piece that would pull out. And it was a, a huge nod to hairstyle at that time period in fashion where I think uh, it was very modern. Everybody had, you know, the twiggy, the short hair. So whenever you needed uh, an extra extension or you wanted a long piece, you know, this kind of doll emulated that because you can wind it all the way up and keep it short like my velvet doll right here, or you can style it in a cute ponytail and just pull it out. So it kind of married the time, like any doll at its time, it marries fashion and, and whatnot. You can tell them the clothing and the patterns and her, her style. But yeah, unfortunately, eventually, you know. A lot of these little girls would chop all their hair off. So me and George have found quite a bit of them with, oh, yeah. with their hair missing. And then just to give you an idea of what this, you know, patent looked like with their mechanism inside, this is the Chrissy doll. Unfortunately, the hair piece came out. Um, she does also have a little button that you would have pushed in her belly button, and then there would be a wind up in the back. Yeah. Um, but this one, you know, I'm this, this lucky piece, enough to show you, you can show you what, what it looks so like. So basically, this piece went inside her, and this was a point to stuck out. So as you won't. That wound the the mechanism in her back, it would kind of wind it back into her. So then you would have a short piece, and then all you do is pull it out by using some tender force, and then ta da, there's Chrissy. So that was her whole spew and her whole um, gimmick. And it was a it was a really nice gimmick. I mean, who else could have pulled? Little doll hair, make short styles, and then when you wanted oh, to let it all and out, it, and, it, and it did have a lot of family members like Velvet, oh, yeah, and then they had Carrie, which you showed you in the box, and then they also had this one, which is, she's one of my personal favorites. Mm -hmm. She's Baby Chrissy. Baby, Baby Chrissy's Chrissy. right here. She's just a, a how, how big? She's 24, 24, 24 inches. inches. So basically, she's just a baby version of Chrissy. She came out in 1973 and went into production until 1976, and. This doll was a baby doll, and she became, after that time period, she did come back into production in 1981, but she's one of my favorites. I don't know what it is. I, probably because I love parting her hair in this in this style. And she's my and, favorite hair style. And she is a jointed doll, and she also is a soft vinyl doll that is filled with foam, so it would be a little bit more of a softer doll. Baby doll. Correct. Easier for the kids to handle. And she came with her, you know, auburn hair that grows and her brown little sleepy eyes. And you, once again, she came in one little outfit. I don't believe she came in more outfits, so I haven't seen any mm. uh, that I can see. But, but there's a lot of baby clothes that people made. You can even use baby clothes of today to fit her. I mean, she's the size of a baby. She's she's an awesome doll. I like it. But overall, I, I really like all the all the Chrissy line. They're wonderful dolls. Yeah, they are. They're a real fun doll. Ideal Toys made a quite a bit, a long line of dolls, and I can't wait to venture out and hunt and to tell the other you a ones, lot yeah. more about all the other Ideal Toys and. Just all the stuff that we get to find. So, so George? So yeah, so the, in closing words, that wraps up this video. If you have any vintage dolls in your house that you'd like to feature our next video, either in your attic, down in your basement, or in your closet, um, contact us and we'd love to be able to um, display them in our next um, showing, hopefully. Yes. And then be sure to check our description for all our uh, social media and our uh, eBay. Look us up. And whatnot. And thank you for spending time with us today. And see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Time, happy hunting. Hit like. Subscribe. And don't forget like. to subscribe. You family betters, you better do it. You family better. <laughs>